Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to remind you that I am giving away a Masterpiece Transport Mammoth on Twitch for Christmas. So if you guys still want a chance to win that Masterpiece Mammoth, you can go check my Twitch channel out in the description. I'll be live right after this video goes up. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So a lot of people have been asking me why I only cook the normal food, like plot food, all the .0 stuff, super cheap. And I always told them it was because of how expensive the enchanted foods were and how they took a while to sell. But I decided it's been probably over a year now since I first started maxing out my food alts and I have much more liquidity now than I used to. So I thought I'd buy order some fish. All of these fish I've bought for right around 160 silver per chopped fish. And then I have a bunch of seaweed. So as you can see, if you're going to be doing large amounts of enchanted fish, you pretty much always want to be chopping your own. So you can come here, and the reason why I bought a lot of like tier 7 and tier 6 is because these actually chop quite a bit faster uh, compared to the other ones. But we'll go through, chop all of this fish, and I'll show you guys exactly what fish sauces I'm going to be turning them into and how we're going to profit using the enchanted fish. As a side note, when you're doing large amounts of fish sauce bottles like I am here, it helps to have a, a cook right next to a butcher and basically you can just eat uh, any food like a potato salad or for my example i'm going to use a kraken salad and then i can just walk back and forth chopping the fish it'll chop very quickly i just have to make sure that i leave one spot in my inventory for the bottles and then once you have all of this chopped see here just a couple more stacks once you have all of this chopped then you can just walk like two steps to your side come here and for this video we'll be doing mostly the basic fish sauce but i will make some fancy fish sauce bottles as i will need some point too so basically that's all we'll do is we'll sit here chop fish go back turn them into fish sauce bottles and i will see you guys when i have all of the fish sauce bottles made okay, i'm here with the first inventory of fish bottles i believe it was about 18 million I uh, grabbed some more fish, but you can see if I take all the fish out, I had about 18.1 million, now 19.6 in fish sauce bottles. Now you can actually just sell these fish sauce bottles on the marketplace for a profit rather than actually making enchanted food. But uh, for, I would say for most people, your best choice is to actually use the fish yourself. Anytime you sell an item on the market that isn't the finished ingredient then obviously if people are buying it it's because they're making a profit off of the purchase so you might as well max out at least what get one account going and one account if you're doing like all the maxed out enchanted food like this can make you upwards of i would say probably 200 to 300 million silver a month depending on how high of enchant you're going on the food now obviously if you go super high like that you're going to need a ton of liquidity because you're only really making about 10 percent profit so if you're making 300 million silver a month off of selling like 0.3 foods to the market then you're going to be, need to be selling about 3 billion silver worth of food in that month so the 300 million mark is pretty uh pretty out there but i'd say 150 million to 200 million is fairly simple to get um doing the enchanted food Again, that's if you have the liquidity to actually uh, list those and wait for them to sell. Okay, the rest of the fish sauce has been chopped. I'll go to the island and grab the rest of the fish sauce bottles. Now, for this video, just for the sake of my personal use, I will be doing Kraken salads. Uh, as you've probably seen in most of my videos, and if you've come to the stream, I use Kraken salads basically every day for everything I do. So Kraken salads give me an easy thing to create that uh, that I can use without really worrying about finding a buyer and I need a ton of them anyways. I'm running out of pretty much all of my Kraken salad types. So we'll come here, I'll grab my fish sauce bottles and I went before this video and grabbed some of these Kraken salads. So I just need potatoes, foxglove, and mutton. One thing you will notice that uh, is a big benefit to doing the enchanted food is that you never really have to worry about the price that you're paying for like these ingredients like the price of like the potato and the foxglove is basically irrelevant compared to the fish sauce bottles you could honestly probably bid like double like these potatoes are worth about 280 to 300 silver you could probably buy them for 600 and it would have like a fraction of a difference to your overall profit at the end but I'll buy these ingredients, we'll head over to the plot and I'll show you guys how much it costs uh, focus point wise and what profit you can expect from doing enchanted food. 
All right, we have all the ingredients here. And I figure I can put a little disclaimer. As you can see, this is 55 million silver worth of food ingredients. This, I almost guarantee, is not going to come anywhere close to using even 30,000 focus points. Just one alt worth of focus. Uh, that's the main problem with enchanted food is that uh, you can make really good profit with one account, but it just doesn't scale very well into making multiple accounts over and over. But we'll see. We have just under 55 million. We'll make the point twos first. And you can see it's only 55 uh, focus points per point two. So I can, I can come here and spend all of these fish sauce bottles and it'll probably only cost me about 4,000 focus. But you can watch just how fast the estimated market value climbs when you're creating food like this. 55 million, just spending 3,000 focus points. So a normal profit would be like 300,000 silver here. And you see instantly popped up 57.6. So you're making two and a half million, give or take, after tax based on the estimated market value. I believe for these right now, it's actually about a thousand profit per focus. So every 1000 focus points I spend is a million silver in profit. There you can see, so we have 87, 87 Kraken salads at 57 focus each is 47,085 focus at a thousand profit per focus. After tax, you're looking at about 5 million silver profit just in that little bit of salads. Now we can come here and we'll spend the bulk amount of our Kraken. The point one foods are the ones that I use the most. I use these for all of my cooking, all of my refining. And so we'll do 271 here of the point ones. And then I will spend all of the Krakens I get back from the resource return rate on probably just the point O's. I use point O's for all of my alt, alt refining, just spending the 30,000 focus points every day. But you can see the estimated market value climbs very, very quickly. And you can do this with all types of different food. It doesn't just have to be the Kraken salads like this. You can do like expensive 0 0.3, 0 0.2 pork pies, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 beef stews, uh, the eel sauce or the eel stews. You have the abalone and omelets, anything like that, that you can make probably 10 to 20 of a day. And then uh, just list... Uh, well, 10 in each city. So if you make like 50 to 100 and then list 10 to 20 each day in the cities all across Albion, you could probably sell a, a good chunk of it. It's just I would not recommend doing this, at least only this, if you have very little silver. You could do maybe one day out of the week make enchanted food and the rest of the days you just make the normal like 0.0 wheat soups, goose pies, stuff like that. Plot foods that sell really quickly but can still make you about a million profit per day we'll see here there's all of my point ones done and then i will spend the rest of mine making point o's for my alts and we'll see what the estimated market value is at the end and then we can go check out the market and see how much these sell for all right there you can see we have all of our kraken salads made and we spent just over fifteen thousand focus points so for a normal like refining account fifteen thousand focus you'd be looking at probably one and a half to two million silver and you can see our estimated market value grew by over 15 million. So literally 10, like minimum after taxes, five to six times the profit you'll make on any other type of alt in the game. Even crafting alts like crafting 8.3 and stuff like that doesn't make anywhere near this profit per focus. It just relies, obviously you have to have a fully maxed cooking account, which this uh, will cost, if you want to study this, will cost you uh, probably about 60 million right now. The food costs are down a little bit. So you'll be spending about 60 million silver to max it out if you just want to study it. If you're not studying it, it's just the uh, the hassle of buying hundreds of millions of silver worth of like cheap ingredients like this by ordering all kinds of meats, potatoes, cabbage, bread, all the ingredients that you need thousands and thousands and thousands of to max out an account. But you can come here and you can see that Especially in Thetford right now, the price of these is very high, uh, peaked at, you know, like if you were selling these, like the 20, 13, 20, if you sold like these 50, 60 here for 240,000, I mean, you're making probably close to 2,000 profit per focus on those. But it doesn't necessarily have to just be the Krakens, like I said. Uh, if you come to any of the uh, tier eight, come here to consumable cooked, and you just kind of look through, we'll do eight, three. And you see anything like the Deadwater Eel Stews sell a pretty decent amount per day, anywhere from 10 to 20. You can see certain times somebody will come through and buy up a ton of them. So you just kind of just have to wait for those people that come in and buy 20, 30 of them at a time. 
abalone and beef stews, I believe, buy a couple. You can sell these in various cities. Other than that, beef sandwiches are used for tanks. Also, from what I've heard from other cooks, you can time your selling to around like Bandit Assault or when you know ZVZs are going on. A large amount of players will come in and buy these foods. 8-3 uh, beef stew is a very common one. Nowhere near as profitable per focus point wise. But if you want something that's still a good profit per focus and sells faster. And again, you can do 8-3. You can do all the same ones on 8-2. 8-2 beef stew sell a ton up to a stack of these per day. Which if you're selling a stack at you know 43,000 per day. You're talking 43 million silver worth almost every single day. Back at the beginning of the month, these were actually closer to sixty to 70000 at some points. But you can do that with all of the foods. Come here. You can also do potato salads. I believe these sell. Come down and uh, just, check the, just check the average sale volume. Anything that sells, if you just look through the food, obviously like something like this, you obviously wouldn't want to buy. But if you look at just the normal foods like Kraken salads, again, those sell 10 to 30 a day. You can split them between every single royal city and you'll sell eventually. And just... Look at all the foods that have a daily volume and just run the prices on them. You can add up how much pro, uh, how much resources it would cost you, multiply it by your return rate and see what kind of profit you can expect from the food. But I thought I'd make this video because I get this question a lot in stream, like I said, about why I don't make the enchanted foods and like how you can possibly profit from making the low tier food. I will show you one thing. What I've actually been using my focus points and what surprises a lot of people is I actually use all of my focus points right now. Um, if I come here making stuff like wheat soup. So, I mean, since the beginning of the month when I was selling back for 1200, it skyrocketed and they're selling like thousands and thousands of these up to 10 to 15 stacks a day for 1700. You're making upwards of 200 to 300 profit per focus just making wheat soup. Another good one is the mutton foods. So if you come to mutton stew, you can make these. These sell a few thousand for a similar price. Mutton sandwiches, same thing. And then there's some niche things on top of that. Like turnip salads are always really good profit. They don't quite sell as often. And just little things like that. If you're training up the account, you can always make the chicken food. These are used for plots, sell quite a bit. You can sell these like in Limhurst, I believe these sell upwards of up to like 30,000 per day. Same thing with chicken pies. These are using Martlock. You can sell tens of thousands of these in Martlock a day. And just kind of look into that and uh, let me know how it goes with you guys maxing out your food alts. But with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said at the start, I'm giving away a Masterpiece Transport Mammoth. Not this Masterpiece Transport Mammoth. I actually will be crafting one myself and turning it into a Masterpiece. So the one that you guys win on Twitch will actually say Crafted by Double Back Envy. So hopefully that's a nice touch that you guys appreciate. I spent a week uh, this week maxing out my breeding skill to give me the ability to craft with the uh, tame mammoths. So hope you guys enjoy that. And I hope to see you over at the stream. And I will see you guys in the future for another video. Take care.